Hello Year 4 and welcome to your Geography lesson for today. I hope you enjoyed last week's where we had a look at all of the different states of North America because we'd been looking at Washington State here where Ivan came from. Now interestingly our country is split up in quite a similar way. So states are an area of land that is governed by a political unit. In our country we have counties and again, they are sections that the country is split into that's been split up for local government. What that means is, is that each state here has its own um, government or council and they make decisions for the state, but they are an answerable to the president of the United States. And in our country, the different counties have their own councils, like we have Wakefield Council for West Yorkshire. And we are still, though, answerable to the government down in London. So in the United Kingdom, there are four countries. We've got England, Northern Ireland, Scotland and Wales. And by the early 17th century, all of England, Wales, Scotland and Ireland had been separated into counties. Interestingly, the older term shire was historically equivalent to county. So you'll be used to hearing the word shire because we live in West Yorkshire, West Yorkshire, um, which means West York County. So England has 48 counties. So nearly the same amount as North America, although ours were, are significantly smaller. There's several different definitions about what a county is. If you search online, there's lots of different definitions for it. Um, it can be ceremonial or they can be geographic. Historically, though, they go back to the Saxon times more than a thousand years ago. And the Saxon times were when the uh, Vikings and then the Romans were attacking England. So a long time ago. And they've changed a lot through history and they're still subject to change now. So there's a map here, which is on the website for you to download, to have a look at, or you can search yourself online. And it shows you how England is split up into all of these different counties. We live here in West Yorkshire. And if we have a look, we've got North Yorkshire, North of West Yorkshire, East Yorkshire, East Riding of Yorkshire, East of West Yorkshire and South Yorkshire. Um, but if you have a look down, you can see how many counties the country is split up into. And right down here on the south coast, we've got Cornwall, Devon, Dorset, my favourite place to go on holiday, Hampshire, West Sussex, East Sussex. So all the way down, we've got lots of different counties for you to have a look at. I'd like you to have a look through these in your own time because at the end there is a quiz to see if you can remember some of the facts about the counties that we're learning about so there are 48 and lots of them if we have a very quick look end with shire so we've got north york shire north york county we've got staffordshire so stafford county We've got here Cambridgeshire, so Cambridge County. So you can see how many shires there are. County towns. So historically, the county towns within the counties were important. And you can see, if we have a look in a minute at the map below, that lots of the counties were named after the county town. <coughs> Even so, some of the county towns are quite small. Now, these towns might not be the largest in their county or the most important or the oldest, but they are going to be one of those things. Interestingly, Wakefield is the county town of West Yorkshire rather than Leeds, even though Leeds is a city and much, much bigger than Wakefield. And Barnsley is the county town of South Yorkshire rather than Sheffield. This map, again, is available to download if you'd like to have a look at it and you'll see if we have a look at some of these, for example, Derbyshire, its county town is Derby. So you can see where it's got its name from, Derby County, Derbyshire. And Nottingham, Nottingham County, Nottinghamshire. And again, Stafford, Staffordshire, Stafford County. So maybe you'd like to have a look through the map and see how many of these actually link with their name 
quite a few if you have a look. Look, Gloucestershire, Gloucester, Oxfordshire, Oxford. So quite a few there that link up. However, Essex, we've got Chelmsford and Essex, so they are completely different. So it doesn't always mean that they're named after their county town. If we have a quick look at Scotland, Scotland is split up into 33 counties. And again, this map is available to download if you'd like to have a look at it. Some of you might have been to Scotland on holiday before. But we've got Aberdeenshire, again, the Shire, Aberdeen County, um, Perth and Kinross, Stirling, Fife, Argyll and Butte. So again, lots of different counties there. And this map here splits up these much smaller counties in this section here. So if you want to have a look at this map, you'll be able to open it in a Word document so you can spend a bit more time having a little look at it. Wales is split into 22 counties. So again, this map is available to download. It might be that you've been to Wales on holiday. Anglesey here, the Isle of Anglesey. We've got Flintshire, Wrexham. And these, this is where Wales, here, this is the border where Wales joins on to England. Carmarthenshire, Pembrokeshire, and this area here is blown up. These are the smaller counties here. Cardiff and Caerphilly here. Next, we've got Northern Ireland. Northern Ireland is split into six counties. So we've got... Uh, Antrim here, Down, Armagh, um, Londonderry. So we've got six different counties in Northern Ireland. Don't worry, I'm not expecting you at all to remember all the different counties of Northern Ireland, Wales and Scotland. But it would be good if you could go back and have a look at the counties in England, because this is important for you. If you are going to be moving around the country, I don't know, going to visit some relatives, it might be good to know which county they live in. So it might be that you're going from West Yorkshire over to Lancashire to see relatives, or you might be going in the other direction to South Yorkshire. Once you've had a look at the counties of England, there is a little quiz for you. So if you use this link, which I will put in the information at the bottom of the video and on the website as well. You can see what you remember. If you, if you go to the link, it will open this little quiz here and there's six different questions to ask you about the counties in England. Have a go and let me know what you get out of six. Bye.